Wow. Look at that, Fudgy Gumpian. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Let's flip you all around here. I'm sitting down for the first part of this. I don't know how this looks. This bench is a little wet, a little poopy too, bird poopy. Anyways, what the fudge is up, gompers? Just came up with that like two days ago. But you guys see my high energy, man, I'm excited. I feel like I remember a little bit about myself. I remember who I am and I've lost touch with that. But it's nice to be back in touch with that. I've let myself fall to the perception of others. I've tried to become something that they wanted to see and that just went against my flow. It went against my grain. I'm like wheat up in her. I'm the wheat man. <laughs> I went from the weed man to the wheat man. Anyways, I lost touch with myself and it wasn't until I left that opportunity that I gained a better sense of who I am. I really am just an empathetic little sweetheart. And I care a lot about people and people can tell me that I, people can tell me things, but I know the truth. I know, I know not their truth. I know not a general overcasted truth upon all of us. I just know mine, my truth. That's like, that's like a 2023 thing, my truth. But I know a lot about myself now. And I wanna tell you all some stories as well. So, this all started with a pyramid scheme. It's absolutely wild. Some guy's actually running over here. I'm gonna keep talking anyways. So I'm working for an office right now and I am, um, it's about management training and it really does develop me as a human being. But I kind of let that get to my head a little bit. Started thinking too much about it. And I ended up going to some meeting. I was told not to go to this meeting, just so I'd stay locked into what the office was doing. But, hey, no problem, no problem. Ah, no, keep up that grind, man. Have a great day. You too. Oh, what a sweet man. Very considerate. And you see, I relate to that man because I am considerate. Some would say overly considerate. But I'm in this management training program. They do develop you as a human being, but it's door to door sales. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm glad that guy ran behind me and not in front of me too. <laughs> but it's door to door sales. And the problem I have with door to door sales is going up to somebody's door, invading their privacy. Now, yes, I do want to give people the opportunity to be affected by me, but that opportunity can't be pushed it can't be forced so I don't I am looking for progression but my progression is gradual anytime I try to push it just ends up wrong it's like man-made versus natural you try to you try to man make a create a creature and it looks all fucked up and weird you let a creature be created naturally and it looks a lot a uh, lot more normal like those geese over there that's not what a goose sounds like <coughs> Damn. but i am more of a natural approach kind of guy and i think that 
falls in line with my uh, relationship with the world. I gotta let it do some of the pushing and then I do some of the pushing. My pushing does kind of speed it up, but at the same time, I'll know when my pushing is too much as well because I've just felt it every single time. So yes, this management training pro program is a great opportunity to develop yourself, but the method to get into the leadership aspect of things where you actually start developing other people, I, I, don't, I don't like that and I'm not gonna do it. Uh, but I wanna talk more about this pyramid scheme now. So my video where I was just walking through a target and some random dude just walked past me. I don't know how natural that really was. This is actually crazy here. So he invites me to a meeting yesterday and I end up going and it was crazy because the day before yesterday, so the day before this meeting, I learned what a pyramid scheme is and I would not have known what a pyramid scheme was had it just been like natural I don't know it, I just naturally learned about a pyramid scheme and next thing you know I'm invited to a meeting that is discussing a pyramid scheme now why does a pyramid scheme work because it motivates people to grind hard for an up for one of the bigger dogs and people are all making money together, but some people are making more than others and blah, 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 blah. Boring shit. A pyramid scheme does work, but it takes advantage of people. And that's another aspect of business that I'm not a fan of. Taking advantage of other people's lack of understanding. It's like, Tell them part of the truth, but not the whole truth. Fudgy Gumpians, I can guarantee you, if we had a conversation, I would tell you the entire truth. There are things that I have learned in this management training program that tell me otherwise. Keep it short and simple instead of keeping it long and lengthy. Now, I know that could help my storytelling, such as in this video, but I have an aspect of a story that I want to share and I can't believe I'm still staring right into the sun. What the hell? I'm about to flip this. I'm about to sit reverse. Is that good? Yeah, that's perfect. Wow. You all will get the sun right in the background. Maybe I'll squeeze my legs right in here. Oh, hell no. I'm gonna break a goddamn leg doing that. I don't like that. I'll sit like this. Yeah, this is nice. I can actually see you now. But I've just recently learned how to tell the entire truth about myself. And to be told to only tell part of that truth, yeah, that's something I could get behind in terms of, that's something I was able to get behind, but not anymore because I've got my methods, the methods to my madness. Life crazy. Also, this fence is broken back here, and I want to kind of sneak behind it and then just take a picture of me on the other side of the fence. I think that'd be funny. I'm just thinking out loud now. And I know I've been all over the place, too. But with business and the things I've learned about business, it is what is it what is business business teaches you manipulation tactics how to take advantage of some of the strongest emotions inside of a person how to say key words that make people feel something so that they'll be more likely to side with you. Budgie Gumpians, if I'm saying something that you don't side with, don't side with me. I'm not gonna sell you on this shit. 
It's like asking you if you like ketchup. I just learned this in the Starbucks the other day from the guy who woke me up in Target. So I'm gonna ask you, do you like ketchup, yes or no? Okay, from that point on, should I sell you on ketchup, whether you like it or not? No. What the fuck? <laughs> Where was I going with that? I totally lost track. Oh, I'm not gonna sell you on something you don't like. That's pushy, that's coercive, that's fucked up, in my opinion. So if you don't like something, I'm just gonna let you do you. And that's, that's a big aspect of this channel. I'm gonna let you do you, and you can choose to let me do me. You can try to not let me do me, but at the, at the same time, like, I'm doing my thing. Nothing's really gonna stop me from that. God, I've got such a great sense of self right now. Like, self-understanding, it's fucking unbelievable. I like it. I'm back in touch with my roots, with what is really me. Now, what did I gain from all of these experiences? I gained confidence. I finally understand the ability of networking. I'm pretty good at it too, because I can just strike up a conversation. And if I can tell people don't want that conversation, I'm not gonna push any further. People need to show interest in the conversation. I'm not going to force anybody inside of one. Now, when it does happen naturally, that's pretty cool. It's like in the it's like in the line at Speedway, you know? You just turn around, start talking to somebody, next thing you know your turn's up. That all that impatience from waiting, it's gone. That's pretty crazy actually. I'm trying not to look behind me so I'm not aware of the uh, whether people are walking on this trail. Because I'm talking about me right now. Fudgy Gumpians, did you just see that? That bird flew right in front of us. I hope the camera caught that. That was wild. Uh, should I go back to this pyramid scheme stuff? Oh yeah, I will. So there was a public speaker at this meeting that I went to. I didn't want to look, but I did. There was a public speaker at the meeting I went to and talked to him, let him know a bit about me. Um, Whatever. I just remembered something. Where are you from? Don't let me forget that, Fudgy Gumpians. Where are you from is a key phrase I want to revisit. But this uh, speaker was up front, and there were a couple guests that were invited by member already existing members. And uh, the guests were up in the front rows. While, meanwhile, all the members were sitting back behind us. So this public speaker's up front. I'd got to know him a bit before he went up there. And he occasionally like points to the people in the front, tries to get them involved. I had my guard up though, I had my walls up. <laughs> but he would pick on us and be like, okay, you said you lived in West Virginia, blah, 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 blah. So mountains, blah, 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 whatever. Um, eventually he called on this one girl and he asked this girl, like, what would you do with an extra $3,000 in your bank account? Uh, because of course a pyramid scheme is going to ask you, what would you do with this amount of money to get you dreaming, to get you thinking, to get you wanting what they have to offer. It's fucked up. My God. Oh, there's a squirrel about to climb a barbed wire fence. I hope he stays careful. Okay, okay, he changed his mind, he changed his mind. Good move, man, good move. I just talked to a squirrel. They'll understand one day. But, 
he asked this girl and she was in the front row there were 200 people in that room she was a little socially anxious she was a little nervous and there was awkward silence now what i've learned from my management training program silence drops impulse so i met with him on a business standard business standpoint of trying to better appeal to your audience and when that awkward silence was there because she was too nervous to answer and he didn't move on it made it all really awkward so for the end of the meeting i explain the impulse thing and i say so maybe you could have like i don't know like pointed the conversation somewhere else and i was positive i was uplifted i was happy while i was saying this stuff just because i didn't want to come off as a dickhead and next thing you know i see his face change it his grimace was just he i don't want to be mean so i'm not gonna say that keyword grimace oh i'm being mean but his his mood and his attitude changed his energy changed and i said so maybe like next time so you don't drop that impulse you can just move the conversation on somewhere else and he goes well i've been doing this for 21 years and if people can't answer a question about what they like to do in their personal life then I can already tell that they're not going to make it in this business. And uh, 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 bad taste in my fucking mouth. Jesus Christ. I wish I remembered this bastard's name. Because he's such a soulless fucker. God. Flip of a switch right there, bro. What the fuck? I, I get a little passionate about the way he treated that person because... They're a fucking person, dude. But. I, I then say, well, I mean, if there is like a leadership training aspect to this job, which there was, it cost an extra $35 on top of the 76 you have to pay to pretty much get into the whole business thing. But they did have a leadership training type thing and I said well I mean if you all really are about development then this management training program that I'm a part of would actually take her social anxiety and help her work through that and he then starts telling me about how his wife used to not be able to look him in the eye holy fuck I used to not be able to look people in the eye look at me go I was looking at him right in the eye I was like the enemy now nah, he's a friend in some more general sense that I don't necessarily have good touch with right now but he really bothered me anyways that put a really bad taste in my mouth and I talked to the person who invited me. He was like, yeah, let's, let's meet tomorrow at five. And I think for a little bit and I'm like, okay, yeah, that works. I walk out with the two other people that he invited and we start talking to each other. And uh, some of the first few words mentioned our pyramid scheme. I really should have networked with those guys because they were, uh, they said to each his own pretty much. And that's something I need to realize that what I'm interested in, not other people are, not many other people are interested in, or not many other people might be interested in. I can't, oh fuck, I'm getting to some deep realizations here. I can only be an advocate for the people who want to be advocated for, avocado for, just kidding, lols, but 
Bro, these geese. They really are just chilling back here. That's cool. They're like my entourage. But. <clears throat> Get back to what I was saying. Uh, we do start talking out there. They mention uh, MLM, which I don't, I don't remember what that means, but pyramid scheme type things like that. And I just, we start to cover the overall sketchiness of all of this because there was plenty. And at that moment right there, when I got into my car. I started to understand a larger aspect of me that I am not a businessman. I've gently covered this in the beginnings of this video, but I really am not a businessman because I am a sharer. I'm not selling a product. I'm not, I am marketing something, it's me in my experiences and my mind but I'm not selling that there's no price to that because I think greed is what really fucks me up with a lot of this stuff like to make money because you have an advantage over somebody I don't necessarily click with well I am more of a sharer I'm more of a uh, meet people on a common ground, I think. Hello. Hi. But I do like to meet people on a common ground. And to sell somebody something means you have to take them from the ground that you are on onto the ground that you are on. And I think that people have their own ground. Now, common ground would be nice, wouldn't it? But I think what we have in common is that we are on grounds. We are individuals. Bro, these are like meat and potato realizations right here. Holy shit. Our common ground is the fact that we're on, we're on the ground. We're grounded that we are all individuals and we are all different and we are all unique i think it's so easy to lose touch with that because we try to put other people on a common ground kind of like my management training program kind of like the pyramid scheme trying to categorize people rather than allowing them to be them in their individual selves God damn, fudgy gumpians. That's crazy, bro. What, a, what an insane realization. I'm doing a handstand because of that. That's the best one yet. I got some air, but oh, my back. I fucked it up. Now I need to work on those muscles. Oh, my butt hurts now. Hey, well, those are some crazy realizations. And I didn't even bring my soccer ball out here like I usually do. I didn't bring... I mean, it's wet, so I don't want to uh, play soccer on a wet field. I'll wait till it's dry later today. Because right now I'm free. I'm unemployed, baby. And that's when I start finding the best version of myself. Not the one driven by greed. Not the one driven by other people's perceptions. The one that is driven by my true interests. And nothing is going to take me outside of that. I've seen my effect on people, and people have seen my ability to affect. I am going to What the fuck? Sorry, it looks like 
I'll zoom in. You see that under the fence? Maybe you can. It looked like a little rooster, right? Uh, where's my finger? Right there. Right under the fence. It looks like a little rooster moving, but it looks like now it's just some cloth or some fabric. Anyways, Fudgy Gumpkins, I'm, I'm glad I could talk with you all. I'm glad I could speak my mind. I think I'm gonna leave this video uncut just to uh, really share my true self out there, you know? So, peace out, Fudgy Gumpians.